Welcome to this video where we will be testing out the Primal Feast. This is the strongest solid food per invent slot in RuneScape and it isn't even close. A Sailfish Soup heals 2600 life points when eaten. The Primal Feast can be broken into four pieces, each healing 2500 life points. That's almost four times more healing than the second best per invent space. The Primal Feast can't be opened up without at least three invent spaces available. Likewise, you can't repack it once you've taken the portions out, so this isn't food you're gonna wanna open lightly. The only real comparable in terms of healing per invent slot is the Super Serodomen Brew. The Super Brew heals a total of 7,800 life points in six sips. Each sip will drain your stats, but will not drain adrenaline. Unlike everything else we've covered thus far, the Primal Feast cannot be purchased on the Grand Exchange. Instead, it is created by combining the Primal Starter, Primal Main Course, and Primal Dessert with a boosted cooking level requirement of 115. The only way to get this boost is with the Extreme Cooking Potion. One other thing I'd be remiss if I didn't mention is that the Primal Portions cannot be used with a Mammoth Feast Scroll and do not allow you to overheal past your maximum life points. So, is the Primal Feast actually useful? The usefulness of this item really depends on one thing. Do you need solid food? The answer to this in a lot of cases will be a resounding no. With Blubbers allowing you to heal without lowering your adrenaline, and with Overloads and Berserker Auras refreshing your stats to full every couple seconds, there's almost no trade-off in using Brews a lot of the time. But sometimes Blubbers and Brews won't cut it, and in these moments when you'll be taking a lot of damage in a short time, an extra brew or two won't make a difference. What could make a difference is four bites of Primal Portion that only takes up one single invent space to hold on to. For me, this comes down to two main uses. First off, in case of emergencies. I take a lot of people bossing, I run teaching sessions, and I also like to mess around at bosses like Virago, Solak, and raids with my friends. Every so often, things don't go too well, or we try out a new strategy that is really high risk, and in those instances, bringing a Primal Feast at the bottom of my invent as backup food can be very useful. It's enough healing to make all the difference. In the clip you're watching right now, Cash and I were able to one-link Phase 5 Virago in a duo with both of us using ranged. This would be considered a high-risk strategy because if we didn't get it to Maul exactly when we did, we would have had an absolute ton of pushback, and in that instance, the Primal Feast would have been useful. It's really nice to bring and hang on to because knowing that I've got that food means I can try a risky rotation and if it doesn't work out, we're not going to end up losing the kill. A bit of a contrived example, but there's a chance that Cash and I don't try this new strategy and take a more conservative approach, and we would have never known that we could actually one cycle it. The second case is Telos. I'm currently pushing my max in Rage. I'm sitting at 1300% and man does it hurt. In my normal setup, I take a total of three sailfish soups to go along with six brews. With the Primal Feast, I'll swap out one soup for an extra four solid food, effectively bringing my solid food total to six solid food and six brews. The result of this is 7,400 extra life points of healing with the exact same amount of spaces taken from healing items. And you could even take it a step further if you wanted to bring two or even three feasts, I just find one is enough. If the kill is going well and I don't make any mistakes, the Primal Feast remains untouched in my invent. But as I'm learning, mistakes are far from rare, and when I do mess up, the Primal Feast in the bottom of my invent allows me to tank the extra damage and the extra mechanics, and still have enough food for the remainder of the kill. This to me is the most useful aspect of the Primal Feast. It gives me access to a bunch of extra healing without having to sacrifice the hit chance of swapping from a Nihil to something like a Pack Yak or a Pack Mammoth. At the same time, these Primal Feasts are quite expensive and buying all the materials from the Grand Exchange, it's gonna cost you close to 200,000 coins per one of these things you wanna make. Is this gonna be worth it for learning casual bossing? Probably not. But if you're transitioning to doing Virago on a Nihil, or doing Telos on a Nihil, or doing Solak on a Titan, bringing one of these in your invent is definitely not a bad idea. If you don't make any mistakes, you don't need to open it up, and it doesn't go wasted, and if you do mess up and have to open the thing, it could very well save you an entire kill, which is gonna make it pay for itself nine times out of 10. The Telos kill before this one, I was pretty much completely out of food, and that was with using the Primal Feast, but this kill, I made significantly fewer mistakes, and because of that, I didn't even need to crack it open. I did the kill without it, but had I messed up at any point, I could have opened the thing up, taken one extra click, and I might have enough food to finish the kill regardless. Overall, I think they've done a pretty good job at the Primal Feast. I'm not gonna speak too much on the creation process of it because it's very farming related, very skilling related, but the price should remain relatively high, which should be good GP for skillers as a passive thing to do. For PVMers, this is definitely not dead content. 
Although solid food is generally not the best option for PVMing, there are plenty of instances where it can be helpful. And if you're someone who's prone to using the solid big bite food that drains your adrenaline, the Primal Feast is something you might want to look into picking up. I personally bring one to both normal mode and hard mode Virago. I bring one to Telos, and if I'm doing a raid with a team I don't know, I might even throw a couple in my invent there too. It's for emergencies, and I don't think it's an item that's worth it if you're going to be using it every single kill. I wouldn't plan on like bringing a yak full of these to a boss fight. That's more healing than you will ever need, and if you manage to go through that amount of food, you're doing something wrong in the first place. But for bringing one or two in case of an emergency, overall, I actually really like it. I'm currently learning a method of doing Phase 4 Telos where you don't get any mechanics the entire phase. It requires really good stun locking, and it's super easy to mess up. The clip you just watched was me opening up a Primal Feast, messing up my stun lure, and having to tank a bunch of damage. The Primal Feast allowed me to tank all that damage, and I was still able to complete the Telos kill, no problem at all. It's more a convenience than a necessity, but it's been extremely helpful in my Telos push, and I would say roughly 50% of the Telos kills I've gotten, I would not have gotten without the Primal Feast. So once again, it's really good when learning. Now, one comment I know that's gonna crop up all the time is, Ryan, do you just have different key buy-ins for all your different types of foods? Well, along with this update, they've also released the Eat Food button. Well, technically they put the Eat Food button in the game a little bit earlier on, but it was bugged where it didn't work in a lot of instances. Now, it correctly works, so what I do is for solid food, I can just drag the Eat Food button out of my constitution book onto my action bar. From there, you're good to go. It's gonna eat whatever you have that is solid. That includes blubbers, sailfish soups, and primal portions, but it does not include brews. So it should work pretty nicely, and it's not something to worry about anymore. Outside of that, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a bit of a long time coming, but I really hope you found the info useful, and I will catch you guys in a couple days for the next one.